Hello, good evening. Hi, teacher. How are you? Good. Mm, what did you do today? Well, I just stay at home, clean the house. Mm. Same stuff. <laughs> mm. Do you clean the house every day? Almost every day. Okay. okay. Mm, do you have children? No. No. I just have a pet. Ah, okay. And the pet is the one that creates the all of the mess. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. That's the the problem with, with is it a dog or a cat? Uh it's a dog. Hello. Okay. So the dog has a lot of hair. <laughs> It's a small one, but it's really, you know, you always mess up everywhere. Okay. <laughs> okay. Create a lot of problems. All right. And how about everybody else? How's everybody else? How was your day today? Hi, right. I'm fine. Thank you. And my day was really fast. And, and I got a lot of jobs. A lot but, of work. But it, it's fine. A, a, a lot of work. A lot of work. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you're working from home, right? Yeah, from home. Okay. Okay, perfect. And anybody else? Everybody have a good day? That's okay, teacher. Normal okay. day. <laughs> normal day, normal day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's because... I ask because it's getting close to Black Friday. Tomorrow is Black Friday and begin December. Many places begin the shopping, the promotions. People start thinking about their Christmas bonus. They say, oh, almost, almost, hi. And like, Inaldo, uh-huh, and you know. <laughs> and other people, they already spend it. They spend it like <laughs> two months ago <laughs> and are waiting to pay. So interesting, interesting time that we're gonna have. Okay, today we're going to be looking at a couple of things. We're going to be um, looking at gerunds, okay? Um, do you remember gerunds is the idea of gerunds are the verbs with ing, okay? So gerunds are like, for example, um, fixing or playing or, you know, um, any of these activities that we have with ing, that's really the gerund, okay? That's when, when the people are referring to are gerunds. Okay, now many times we also have a lot of words that we use them. Today we're going to be um, looking at specifically two different words that we have with the gerunds, and um, I think this, the words are need and want. Um, let me double check that for you. It's uh, sorry, need and keep. Okay, so we're going to be looking at how to describe things with the word need and keeps. The need is like a requirement. Okay, like you, in order Hello. to pass the course, you need something. Okay, and keep is, it continues to do the same thing. Okay, so let me just take a picture of the conversation before I share it and I'll put it into the WhatsApp group for us so that in case you're on your cell phone, you have the idea of the conversation that we're looking at. Okay. All right, so I already sent it to the WhatsApp group and it's this conversation, okay? Before we take a look, before we read it, let me see if I can do this. All right, okay. Take a look at the picture. Tell me what's happening in the picture. Nah. They put born, are born. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. And what's the guy doing? Okay, the food is burning. What, what does he have in his hand? Uh, a telephone. Maybe he's calling his wife. 
Well, maybe calling his wife. All right, interesting, Veronica. Yeah, 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 calling the wife. Uh-huh. Anything else? Or calling for delivery food. Ah, another one, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, call maybe, for delivery. Maybe. Okay, maybe, maybe. So this is the idea. This is what we're looking at is the conversation of what's happening and describing. So we use this idea, okay, uh, of, of the words is need or keep is to describe the situations, okay? So whenever we're using need or whenever we're using keep, okay, we tend to use the verb with ing. We tend to use it with a gerund. So what happened with the situation or how to describe uh, a solution, okay, it needs. Keep is describing the problem. Needs is describing the solution. So um, many times we say, I need a new phone. I need, a, uh, I need new clothes. I need, but these are nouns, okay? But when we use verbs, the verbs are with ing. So we can use, oh, the phone needs repairing. The phone needs uh, replacing. The phone uh, or needs fixing, okay? Why? What happened with the phone? What's wrong with the telephone? Oh, it keeps uh, shutting down. It keeps freezing. It keeps turning off, okay? It, it, it keeps... Uh, going out, whatever it is that you want to use. But one more time, we use need to describe the solution. We use keep to describe the problem. In this moment, we're gonna listen to this conversation and then we're gonna practice it a little bit, okay? Has it ever happened to you that everything goes wrong? Sometimes everything needs to be fixed because everything keeps on breaking. Now listen to the conversation and find out what happened to these people. Don't forget to practice the conversation. Page 38. Exercise 6. Conversation. It keeps burning. Part A. Listen and practice. Hello? Hello, Ms. Locke. This is Jack Burr. Uh, Mr. Burr? In apartment 305. Oh, yes. What can I do for you? Does your refrigerator need fixing again? No, it's the oven this time. Oh, so what's wrong with it? Well, I think the temperature control needs to be adjusted. The oven keeps burning everything I try to cook. Really? Okay, I'll have someone look at it right away. Thanks a lot, Ms. Locke. Uh, by the way, Mr. Burr, are you sure it's the oven and not your cooking? Listen to another tenant calling Ms. Locke. What's the tenant's problem? Okay. So, first part, before we listen to the other tenant, is talking about... Okay. That's a very uh, common word to use. What, what do you think is that meaning of that word, tenant? What do you think that means, tenant? The people that uh, administrate the uh, departments or complex apartment. Okay, all right. Pretty good, pretty good, Ramon. But it's not the one that administrates it. It's actually the one who rents it. Repeat? The person who rents the apartment. Ah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Very good. So the person, yeah. mm -hmm, the person who rents it is the tenant. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. So, why is he calling her? I mean, you know, what is the problem that he's reporting? The oven keeps burning. Mm -hmm. But if the if it's the oven in his apartment, why does he call her? Why do you think? Uh, I think because he's calling them because um, <clears throat> the apartment, he rent the apartment with all the furniture. So they, they, they have to fix it if something wrong is going on. Okay, all right, pretty good. Yeah, that's the idea, right? 
that many times uh, when you rent apartments, usually you, you have furniture, but here, these things are called appliances. What are appliances? Appliances are all of those things that you can think of that are like a refrigerator, a stove, a microwave. Does it make sense what an appliance is? Like in Spanish, many times we say the white line. When you go buy something, we refer to the appliances as a white line. Does that, does that help? Is, is that okay? Yeah. No, no, okay. Okay, perfect, perfect. So those are the appliances. And you're right. Many times when you rent an apartment, um, appliances are included, okay? It's, it, or even, to be honest, when you rent a house, um, they, many times they have at least the basic appliances. In El Salvador, it's not common, but in the other countries, it's common to include the stove and the refrigerator. These are the basic appliances that people have. And many others have like a microwave or an oven, but usually the big or a washing machine, but the big appliances are the ones that are included. Okay. Now, this is, we understand why he's calling her. He's calling her because she's responsible. Okay. Now we're going to listen to the rest of the conversation where another tenant calls, but we are not going to be able to read the conversation, only listen. So listen and then tell me what is the situation? What is the apartment is the person in? Okay, what does she offer as a solution? So we have three major questions. Where the apartment the person is calling from or the name of the person, right? The problem the person is having and what is the solution? You guys ready? Okay, quiet means yes. Hmm. Can you guys hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, because I, I just got a message, so it was a little weird. Okay, let's try. Listen to another tenant calling Ms. Locke. What's the tenant's problem? Hello? Hello. Is this the manager? Yes. This is Ms. Locke. This is Lula Harris in apartment 216. Yes. How can I help you, Mrs. Harris? I'm having a problem with the electricity. What sort of problem with the electricity? Well, it keeps going off and coming back on again. I see. Is it just the lights or is it the appliances too? Let me check. No, the refrigerator is okay, so it must be just the lights. I guess the fuse box needs to be checked. I'll come up and take a look at it right away. Thanks so much. You noticed another tenant called? What was the tenant's problem? Type your answers on our discussion box. Okay. We're not going to type our answers right now because we're going to Okay. So let's talk about it what were the what was the name of the tenant what apartment was the tenant in what was the problem and what was the solution should we listen one more time yes please yes please okay no problem all right remember name of the tenant apartment of the tenant the problem the tenant has, and what is the solution? Four questions. Teacher, teacher. Yeah, 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 Romulo. But in this case, the tenant, the, uh, the tenant is the person that uh, rent the, or the, 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 or the owner, the, the apartment. Correct, the tenant is always the person that rents. The uh, tenant. Uh, uh, the, the rent. Yeah, hang on, let me put here in the chat so you don't confuse. The person who owns is called the, hang on, it's not typing. Okay, 
the person who owns the apartment or who manages it many times is called the landlord. Lord, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The landlord. Okay. The person that rents it, the tenant. Okay. Here we go. One more time. Tenant calling Ms. Locke. What's the tenant's problem? Hello? Hello. Is this the manager? Yes. This is Ms. Locke. This is Lula Harris in apartment 216. Yes. How can I help you, Mrs. Harris? I'm having a problem with the electricity. What sort of problem with the electricity? Well, it keeps going off and coming back on again. I see. Is it just the lights or is it the appliances too? Let me check. No, the refrigerator is okay, so it must be just the lights. I guess the fuse box needs to be checked. I'll come up and take a look at it right away. Thanks so much. You noticed another tenant called? What was the tenant's problem? Type your answers on our discussion box. All right, let's see what answer you guys came up with. Okay, what did we hear? Okay. When the tenant, oh, go ahead. The name of the tenant is uh, Lola's, Lola's Lula Harris? Harris. Harris. The Harris. Correct, Lula Harris. That's right, Lula Harris. Very good. What apartment was she in? 216. Two, two sixteen. Yeah. Excellent. That's right. She was in apartment two sixteen. Great. And what is her problem? The light. The the lights are going off and come again, off and on, off and on. That's right. The lights are turning off and turning on. That's right. Coming out, coming off, and then coming on again. Okay. Good. And what is the solution? I didn't listen very well. The the name is like something box. I think it's the the fusel. The what? Go ahead. Say again. The official box needs to be checked. Good, good idea. Only it's the fuse box. That's right. The fuse. The fuse, the fuse box. Mm-hmm. The fuse box is the box that can, that has like a protection for the electricity, so it doesn't go too too high or or too much electricity. It it shuts down automatically. Yep. Huh? It's okay the the meaning? Yeah. Yes, te yes teacher. Can, okay. can you can, can you yeah, can you write the appliance please? Sure, in the in the chat. Yeah, please. Mm -hmm. One sec. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So normally there are in reference to the plural, right? If it's if it's singular, then just remove the s. Mm -hmm. Is a refrigerator, the ovens, and that's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, yes. Um, microwave, things like that. That would be the yeah. mm -hmm. And remember, the landlord, the person who uh, has the house is, is the owner, okay? And the tenant was the person who rents the house. But it, it can be uh, the same person. Or not? No, because if it's your house, you don't rent. Hmm. Well, some people do. But it's not their house. Oh. 
Uh -huh. The person that owns the house, the person that owns the house is the landlord. The person that rents the house is the tenant. Ah, I didn't understand. Okay. No, no problem, no problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other words or things from the conversation that weren't clear? I don't hear the solution, teacher. Ah, what is the solution? Okay, excellent. The solution is when the person says, I'll go up and fix the fuse. Because they are saying it's probably a problem with the fuse box. This is the problem where the okay. electricity. Mm -hmm. And the same thing that happens in the cars, because in the cars, there's also a fuse box. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I understand. I understand. So, the, the answer is to, to check the fuse box. Yes, the an that's the correct. Fuse. That's correct. The answer is to check the fuse box. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other questions or any, any other parts? No teacher. Okay. Excellent. All right. So we're taking, we're going to continue on then this this was just the idea we're gonna make our groups we're gonna practice the conversation we're gonna practice it two times so one times will be the tenant and the other time will be the landlord and then uh, or the, the manager and then we'll switch you have it in your what's up group so if or in the what's up if not you can share um, the screen it's 1.5 if you are on the computer so it's your decision you can go to 1.5 on the computer or you can check the WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know. <laughs> okay. Hello. Hello, Miss Luck. This is Jack Byrne. Oh, Mr. Bird. In apartment 305. Oh, yes. What can I do for you? Does your refrigerator need fixing again? No, it's the oven this time. Oh, so, so what's wrong with it? Well, I think the temperature control needs to be adjusted. The oven keeps burning everything I try to cook. Really? Okay, I have a song one look. Yes, I will do it. Let me see. I have to open this. Um, let me check one thing. Okay, jingle. We are in, in, in what session? You don't remember what session it was? Not really. But it's the first one, right? Let me see. Because really? Yes, in the in the pandemia, I guess you she was pregnant when <laughs> when returned to house, she was pregnant, but I never see to the her pancita. <laughs> <laughs> 
How do you say pancita, la teacher? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I'm alone now, but it's okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Is your so, third host uh, with Rocio? <laughs> okay. okay. Rocio, you got to be Mr. Burr. And okay. I will be Mr. Miss, Miss, Mrs. Luke. Okay. Hello. Hello, Miss Luke. This is Jack Bourne. Oh, Mr. Bourne. In an apartment 305. Oh, yes. What can I do for you? Does your refrigerator need fixing again? No, it's the oven this time. Oh, so what's wrong with, with it? Well, I think the temperature control needs to be adjusted. The oven keeps burning everything I try to cook. Teacher. I can't hear, teacher. We can hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, okay. Sorry. Thank you. So, oh. thank you. Um, so, we have a, we were just looking at needs and keeps. Um, first, are there any questions? Okay. So, we are using needs for what you want fixed or what has to be done. Keeps is for what is the problem, right? We're looking at it using gerunds. What are the gerunds? Gerunds are the verbs with ing. Why do we use it? We use it to describe problems and to describe solutions to those problems. So if you have a situation that something is wrong, that's when you use needs or keeps. Excuse me, depending on if you want to describe what the problem is or if you want to describe uh, what needs to be done, okay? Then we also have the idea for the passive. The passive is without the ing. Why? Because the passive is always with the, in this case, is going to be the verb to be, okay? And the past participle. In the case of regular verbs, it's just the ed, okay? And this is another way to describe it. So for this one, uh, we're going to listen to the video. It's only it's a small video, and this is the second way on how to describe problems. Welcome. If you paid attention to the last conversation, you noticed the use of need and keep. I'll ask you to stay around and learn different ways to report problems. Describing problems too. Keep plus gerund. Everything keeps burning. The alarm keeps going off. Need plus gerund. The oven needs adjusting. The alarm needs fixing. Need plus passive infinitive. It needs to be adjusted. It needs to be fixed. Now that you have listened to the audio program, we will keep on showing you how to describe or report problems. In this opportunity, we will do by using keep plus gerund, need plus gerund, and need plus passive infinitive. Do you remember what's the problem with the oven? That's right, the oven keeps burning everything. Let's stop here. Notice what follows keep, a gerund. Burning is a gerund. This is what we will study, keep plus gerund. 
A gerund follows the verb keep when it refers to a repetitive action. My teacher keeps telling me to learn my verbs. Her siblings keep fighting over the TV. Now we'll study need plus gerund or passive infinitive. Either way we use need plus gerund or need plus passive infinitive, it means the same. You may say, this chair needs fixing or this chair needs to be fixed. We hope you got the structure. You know, in my house, a room needs to be built. Can you think of two home improvements you would like to make? Can you type them on a discussion box? Choose any of the structures learned. Notice what looks key. What are we looking at? Sorry. Okay. Now that you have listened. It's just how we're using it. It's the idea of, of describing the problems, right? So we use the these problems with keep or need. Okay. And then we have the new one that we just looked at, which is the passive. Okay. So it needs, we don't use the keep in this one. We use need. Need. Okay. It needs to be repaired. Needs to be fixed. Okay. Kind of like in the other forms here. We use keep because this is what happens. It continues it, like a computer. It keeps uh, shutting down or the electricity, it keeps going out or things like this. That's when we use keeps because the action continues. Or for us, it's easier to think of is what is the problem? Because the problem is not one time. The problem continues. That's why we use keep. But when we're talking about the solution to that, okay, that's when we can use the word need. Okay, so the chair needs with ing or the chair needs always you're going to use to be and then the verb in the past participle. Those are the two ways to describe the solutions for it. Okay, so for complaints, okay, keeps. For solution, needs. In solution, you have two options, needs and ing or needs and to, right, needs to be. I don't know if anybody has any questions at this moment. No? No. Okay, perfect. So now we're gonna make our groups and we're gonna practice it. We're gonna talk about what are the problems and your partners are going to practice the solutions, okay? So as an example, um, my TV, Okay, my TV keeps going black. My TV keeps going black. Who can tell me a solution to that problem? Your TV needs to be fixed. Fixed. Thank you, Rocio. Your TV needs to be fixed. Now, Rocio, do it with a gerund. Your TV needs fixing. Correct. You see, Rocio said the two forms. I said one. One more time. In your partners, the same thing. One person says the problem. The other says the solution in both grammatical forms. Okay. Needs with ing and needs with two. Any questions? Okay. All right, perfect. Now remember, these are for all of the different problems. They can be in, in the video, it says for home repairs, but in reality, it can be for any problem because it's the same grammatical structure. It can be a problem at work. It can be a problem in your home. It can be a problem with the car, whatever you want, because grammatically is the same. The topic doesn't matter. Okay. Do it. Do you have 
can you share the, the screen or we're going to just talk about? I, I think we are going to say just one problem and mm -hmm. the other going to make a solution, I think. Okay, well, let's see. Let's try it. Who we'll start? If you want, if you want to start, uh, Veronica. Uh, well, uh, I can say I have a problem uh, <clears throat> with my car. The 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 shares of the battery, and maybe. Got to to look for the for the apps in your cell phone and and try uh, to investigate which one of the other, of all of these apps um, maybe turn ground your, your phone right. Okay. Thank you. And the other problem maybe will be. So remember, if Jose says the problem, Ligia, you give the solutions in two forms. If Ligia says the problem, then Jose, you give the solution in two forms. One with gerunds and one with infinitive. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, the problem could new, new, new share, <laughs> new share. New shirt. <laughs> yes. It's more um, easy. It's more easy. It's more easy. Okay. Yes. It's, I think it's more easy. I really uh, agree with you. But <laughs> if, 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 if in this moment you you take a, a service with a, a customer, what happened with this case? You need no, you you can need you can um buy a new a new shirt in this moment. The waiter needs a new shirt. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. I think that I think the other solution is um uh, to share these shirts uh, with a tear on it <laughs> for all that uh, for all day. Nick's fixing. Ah, okay. Yeah. No, no. Okay. Without the words to be. Okay. My problem. Okay, explain you my problem. My internet uh, keeps. Uh, Keeps and I don't know in in a, in a stable, in a stable, teacher. In a stable. Unstable. In a, in a stable. Unstable. Sorry, unstable. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, Romulo. I think your internet needs to be checked, or your internet internet needs checking. Okay. Repeat again, Rosie, please. Computer. As always, they do that. Huh. You may maybe you uh, you need to shoot shoot down your computer and then start start it again. Or um, you can keep keep it going with the department of technology. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> now it's basic terms. Basic terms. Okay. Well. 
My problem is that I have too much work all day. <laughs> I don't know how to fix my 24 hours. <laughs> you need to quick. <laughs> but I need, I, I don't know if the solution is to take vacations, but in the work, they, they didn't give me vacations. <laughs> don't give me vacations. I understand, but... When you go to vacation and you return, there are more jobs to do. So oh, yes. Like, <laughs> I was waiting a solution from you, Veronica, and you, Esmeralda. <laughs> <laughs> maybe um, your schedule needs to be modified, maybe. Modified? Yeah. Okay. To take some time for you? I try to do it, but it's... <laughs> My my TV keeps uh, I don't know how other other people <laughs> keeps uh, shut it down. Shut it down, uh huh. My TV keeps shut it down and frequently. Okay, you can try to put to, to connect it in the other uh, I don't know shuffle or electric shuffle. Yeah, and maybe try to change uh, the, the 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 place where there is the, the TV. I think. Ah, electric outlet. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you. You're... Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, other case I... where... I, the teacher is here. Patricia, what is your question about? Mm. Thanks, Omi. You help me. Uh, teacher, uh, Omi, I help me because I, I, I understand when I use keeps or keep. Ah, uh, keeps is for singular. One object, the TV, the computer, the car, the refrigerator, one. This is keeps. Keep is for plural, okay? For example, they, they keep, okay? My computer and TV keep. When it's two or more objects is no S. When it's one object is with S. Mm, um, uh, I confused because in the conversation last, Mm -hmm. The problem is the oven keeps burning. Correct. Because the oven is only one. Only one, so is with S. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. If there are two ovens, then no S. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. I clear. Only this, Patricia? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, for a moment, yes. Okay, perfect. Teacher. Yes, Rocio. We have a question. Mm -hmm. the, the problem of Romulo is the, his neighbor to, is keeping um, blocking his, his garage. So I, I don't know how to give him a solution. Okay, so you need, and then here it's probably better the infinitive instead of the gerund. So as an example, you need to put a rock in front of your garage. You need to uh, put a tree or put nails on the floor, okay? Or put a sign. Right? <laughs> or? Be you, polite. <laughs> or? Put a sign. <laughs> Or the correct, the correct is you need to talk to your neighbor. 
You need to talk him. You, you need ah. to talk to call mm -hmm. the police. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. That's the okay. idea. <laughs> okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Okay, any questions about how to use needs or keep or the gerunds or how to describe a problem and the solutions? For me, not really, teacher. Everything is clear. Okay. That's good. All right, perfect. So let's begin with Jose. Jose, uh, please state a problem and then uh, Ligia is going to give you the solution. Okay. Um, I got a problem with, with my dinner because I really love to cook it. But sometimes it get, get burned. Okay, so make the problem using the word keeps. Okay. Um, using the word keep. Um, the same problem, the same problem, but with, with the word keep. Okay. Um, I, 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 when I keep, um, when I keep cook my dinner, it get burn. Okay, Maybe. that's that's where you change it. So the part where it says get, that's where you replace for keeps. So when okay. I cook when I cook my dinner, it keeps burning. It it keeps burning. Okay, yes, because when it's I the cook, dinner. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. Let me try. Um, when I keep when I <laughs> when I cook my dinner, um, uh, it keeps. Burning. Very good. Okay. Ligia, what okay. would be a solution? And you need to be fo focused on the kitchen. <laughs> I don't know. In the kitchen. <laughs> okay. Good. <laughs> good. Now, I want to mention what Ligia answered. In this case, the ING is not a logical solution. Only the infinitive is a logical solution. Okay. You need to keep focus. Okay, it's not logical to say you need keeping focus or you need focusing, right? This, in this case, this is the best answer. So even though the two structures are correct grammatically, it's not always correct for the way for between the passive and an active voice. Some of them are better with the actions, okay? In this case, it's better that Jose needs to keep, okay? Attention or keep paying attention to his cooking. All right, Ligia, okay, now you give a problem and we're gonna have Bessie give the solution. Okay, and my, <coughs> my dress keeps uh, stained or staining. My dress keep staining. Almost. That in this case, it's not going to be staining. It's going to be getting. My dress keeps getting stained. Stain. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, my dress keeps getting stained. Stain. Stain. Stained is like um, with pasta or uh, with wine or a pen. Is this mark that is left? This is called the stained. Okay, maybe the solution is uh, Ligia. Maybe the solution is uh, that you can um, buy a new dress. <laughs> okay, make the solution with needs. Okay, maybe you need a li uh, Ligia to buy a new dress. Okay, good. Now, you see here, and like what we mentioned with Jose, what is the difference? It's really on the active and passive. One more time, when we're talking about what Ligia is going to be, or sorry, what Ligia is going to do, we use the infinitive. 
Ligia needs to buy a new dress. When we talk about the dress, the dress needs cleaning. The dress needs repairing. The dress needs replacing. Does that make a little bit more sense? How is the difference between the needs? Because remember, needs is two forms. One, yes. is, with, one is with the infinitive and one is with the gerund. But it's not about the needs. It's about the subject. If the subject is going to do the action, like the case of Ligia, then it's going to be needs to. If we're talking about the object, the dress, ah, then it's with ing. The dress needs replacing. Dress needs fixing. The dress needs cleaning. Bessie, give us a problem and Rocio can give the solution. <clears throat> okay. Um, one problem, maybe in this moment, is my car. I can keep uh, my car in a good condition to drive a long ways. Okay, all right. Rocio, what would be a good solution? Okay, busy. I think your cab, your car um, needs to be checked by a mechanic. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, and in the case that Rocio mentioned, because she started with uh, the car, we can use the ING. Your car needs, okay, checking mm, okay. or your car checking. needs inspecting or whatever Rocio wants. But in this case, we can because Rocio began with the car, not with Bessie. If Rocio began with Bessie, Bessie, you need to uh, check your car. You need to take your car to the mechanic. Then it's not possible with ING. All right, Rocio, you make the problem and Patricia is going to give you the solution. <laughs> Okay, Patricia, I have a problem. <laughs> My cell phone keeps turning off. Okay. Uh, Rocio, you, you need to uh, load your cell phone. Repeat again, Patricia. Uh, you need to uh, load your cell phone. Mm, I'm, not, I'm not sure, Patricia, that's right. You, you need, can you, maybe the pronunciation is not the right one. Can you write the word in the chat? Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, and this is for like the Spanish one, right? This is why, you, why you're using it. It's like the Spanish cargar. Patricia? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. That's why. That's why. Okay. Yes. You are correct, Patricia. Technically, load is cargar, but it's not the same cargar in, in English. It's a different cargar. It's like cargar el camión. The, the one that you want is the one that I put in the chat is charge. This is, this is the one that you want for, for electronics. The other the, is correct, the same meaning as in Spanish, but is for load for like physical, like uh, I load uh, uh, the box, I load the, the, the shelves, I load like this. It's okay, Patricia? Uh, teacher, please uh, do repeat for me. Yes, uh, I came here because uh, I started uh, raining. Okay. Raining. Okay. Uh, the load is cargar, but is different. Cargar is for physical. Is physical like a like a car or a bus or a construction. This is load. Uh, for Rocio's problem, is cargar in English is charge for electrical or batteries, or um, something of this form. This is charge. You need to charge your battery, or you need to charge your phone. This is the other cargar. Okay. 
Thanks, teacher. So you're welcome. That, so yes, your, your idea is correct, only the change the word. Yes. Okay. Patrice, Patricia, give the problem and Omi is going to give the solution. Okay. I, I keep speaking English. It's not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe it's I keep speaking Spanish. Right? Omi, what would be the solution? Uh, you, you need a... Uh... You need practice, more practice about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, yes. You need to practice more, that's right. Okay, good. <laughs> Omi, okay, give the problem and Romulo is going to give the solution. Okay. Uh, my doorknob keep broken. Breaking. Breaking. My door not keep breaking. My my repeat on me, please. Your your your. My door not keep breaking. Your door. Door not. I don't understand. Sorry, door. The where you get the door to turn. Ah, okay, 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 sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, you're, it's door, right? The, the, it's the, in the chat, it's in the chat, Romulo. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me check. Door knob. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, uh, Omi, I think uh, your door knob needs... Uh, Needs fixing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Ramano. Excellent. By the uh -huh. carpenter. Carpenter. <laughs> By the carpenter. By a carpenter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. So just yeah. Thank you. Okay. So as you can see, these are the different ways that we can report problems and give recommendations for solutions. Remember, the tricky or the difficult one is with needs, okay? Needs, if you start with the person, is only possible the two. If you start with the object, it's possible both. But if it's with the person, you need two, so-so. All right? Okay, yeah. guys, have a great night. Enjoy your evening. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.